we want to show you one of the first great creative tools optimized for the surface, Adobe Fresco, our new painting and drawing app. As you'll see, Fresco recreates the feeling of painting and drawing with natural materials, especially with our live brushes that reproduce the behavior, the actual behavior of oil and watercolor paints. So please welcome my colleague, Jinjin Sun, who will demonstrate Adobe Fresco. And I'm ready to start sketching. So I'm going to start by just blocking in a sketch. And I think I'm ready for line work now. So I will lighten this and go in with lines. So for the lines, I'm going to use Fresco's vector brushes, which are really nice for lines because they remain super crisp and clear no matter how far you're zoomed in or out. They're also responsive to pressure, which creates a really nice natural feeling line. Great. So I don't need my sketch anymore. It's time for color. And I'll th I think I'll start with the lips. So I'll make sure the pencil brush is selected. And I'll pick a pink. And I'll just start coloring in there. You can see I've gone outside the lines. I need to clean that up. So I'll zoom in. You can see those vector lines stay super crisp, even at 400%. And all I need to do is turn this pen around and use the back of it to just start erasing, just like with a real pencil. So that's done, and I can add some more shading. So I think I will add some teal eyeshadow here, again with the pencil brush and this pen. When I'm using the tip, I get a nice, fine, sharp line. But if I lay the pen on its side and use light pressure, I can get this nice, blended, soft effect, just like with a real pencil again. So I'll just finish, add a little bit more shading. And then go to another one of our pixel brushes for maybe some more texture. So I think I'll try the block stain here, use some pink, get that in, and then use dark blue for the shirt. So for the hair, I'd like to use our live oil brushes. These are really exciting because they blend just like real oils. So I'll just start by laying in some of that dark blue, and then I will add green. So with that in, you can see we get a really beautiful blending and smearing, just like with real oils. I love doing this. Um, it's so much, so much fun. So I'll finish out with some yellow, the highlight in there. And to close this out, I'll just round out the background with some texture. So I'll go back to my trusty pixel brushes choose a spatter texture, and just start going in to round out that background. And all that's left is to sign it. So I'll go ahead and put my signature on that and just finish out. And there we go.